Welcome to Kuwait. Come with us on an exciting journey through this unique country, steeped in history, driven by innovation, and made strong by tradition. One of the most advanced countries in the Arabian Peninsula, Kuwait is an exemplary model of a modern Arab democracy and a pioneer in business and trade. Let us show you Kuwait through our eyes. Kuwait's location at the head of the Arabian Gulf has played a profound and decisive role throughout its rich history. With influential neighbors on all sides, this small country has retained its unique cultural and political identity throughout the centuries. Emerging from the cradle of early civilization, Kuwait is one of the oldest regions inhabited by man. Archaeological evidence finds the oldest seafaring boats in the world to originate from this country, placing early Kuwaitis among the world's first seafarers and maritime traders. A spirit of adventure and innovation that lives on in the Kuwaiti people. Kuwait was established well over 300 years ago, um, and there was two elements in society uh, back then. There was the pearl divers and traders, and then there was the desert-dwelling uh, Bedouin that would trade uh, in livestock and spices and wolves. Kuwait played a pivotal role along the major trade routes of the Old World. And it was in 1613 AD when a group of tribes settled in the area, realizing the importance and advantages of its location. And it was in 1775 that the first ship of the East India Company dropped anchor in the Bay of Kuwait. And for the next hundred years, uh, a lot of the East India Company trade went through, through the Gulf and through Kuwait. Kuwait's democratic traditions placed the country far ahead of its time. And Sheikh Sabah bin Jabir was chosen as the first ruler of Kuwait through the time-honored tradition of consensus politics and open discussion. A fixture evident in the country's long-established electoral parliament and in traditions like the Diwaniya. I think Diwaniya is really a, a, a pillar in our social fabric. And really it helped to uh, connect people together. And you can hear news and events that you don't read them in the newspaper or you watch them on TV. The Diwaniya is a, something unique that all foreigners when they come to Kuwait that they get a little bit surprised to see. We consider them like a small parliament. In Duania, you can discuss everything. From the remotest past to today's thriving present, beyond the deserts that unfold before the eye and the realms of the imagination, Kuwait has so much to offer. A modern, progressive, and fast-paced society that nevertheless remains fondly true to its roots and the traditions it was built on. It is an open society. It's a society that believes in free speech, that continues to be expressed. It's a society that is trying to build a thriving and sensible and workable democracy. As one of the richest countries in the world, and thanks to Kuwait's economic development and diversification strategies, many industries are thriving. From basic consumer staples, like flour and bread, 
to cutting-edge construction and engineering. Through the implementation of government stimulus measures, Kuwait's infrastructure expansion is believed to perform strongly in the upcoming years. The private sector and foreign investors are set to play a leading role in this implementation, which includes new roads, bridges and government buildings. With a remarkable portfolio that spans not just across Kuwait, but the whole MENA region, PACE is an example of Kuwaiti entrepreneurship and cutting-edge innovation at its very best. Our body of work over the last 45 years shows that we actually created an identity for both PACE but also for Kuwait through the architecture and engineering projects that we've done. It's part of the lifeblood of Kuwait. Industrial, residential and commercial construction are other key aspects of Kuwait's dynamic infrastructure agenda and highly prestigious projects such as the Kuwait International Airport, the Kuwait Stock Exchange, the Bayan Conference Hall and the Kuwait National Library are all setting a new benchmark of distinction thanks to family-run Kuwaiti businesses like Alhani Construction. And now it is... Uh a major company in the country and a major source of our income also. And I am proud because we are joining in developing the country. At the heart of the country's development plans and as part of its progressive approach to economic diversification, there are many programs targeted at Kuwait's greatest asset and majority population the youth. One of the most prominent initiatives in Kuwait is being led by the private sector through an organization called Injaz Kuwait. We're in a region where over the next 10 years there are 90 million jobs that need to be created for youth. We have the youngest population in the world and those jobs can't be created by ministries, those jobs can't be created by existing businesses, those jobs have to be created by new businesses being started up. What we do is that we um, inspire and prepare them for the private sector. So by working with them on, on developing their analytical skills, 21st century skills is what's required. So um, getting them to appreciate where they want to go in life and therefore start working on it today. It's important because the support is not stemming as much from the government side as it is now. So the private sector's uh, initiative is essential to, to put the roots in our youth today. So part of giving back into society is not just in charities and helping you know, uh, uh, NGOs. It's creating something that would take the youth to a, a second domain or a second culture to grow this business. The youth of Kuwait are the key to the country's future and their mobilization is a primary focus for any group intending to affect real and lasting change. One such institution is the Dasman Diabetes Institute, established in 2006 with a clear mission to prevent, control and mitigate the impact of diabetes and related conditions. Diabetes in Kuwait and across the region is a growing concern as it affects the quality and longevity of life and prevention programs are now targeted to children as young as 10 years old. At the Dasman Diabetes Institute, prevention courses are taught on a daily basis by expert staff showing people how to cook with fresh ingredients, to have fun while exercising and to unlock the value of having an active lifestyle. We are also becoming now recognized as a center for the region and also we are recognized by European Commission as a center for health and education. The success of the Dasman Institute stems from its gathering of knowledge from all over the world, partnering and collaborating with the World Health Organization, the Harvard Group, and many other important institutions, creating a benchmark not only for diabetes, but also for the treatment of other chronic diseases. Significant advances have been made across all of Kuwait's healthcare services, and currently there are eight general hospitals, 21 private hospitals, and 72 primary care clinics, reaching an 8,000 bed capacity, with further extensions already on the way. 
Institutions like Yako Medical Company, with 35 pharmacies and medical centers across Kuwait, and employing over 900 doctors, biomedical engineers, and marketing professionals, shows a countrywide commitment to delivering proficient healthcare services through both the public and private sector. High standards are also achieved through international collaboration, most exemplary with Kuwait's accreditation from the United Kingdom for Emergency Services Administration, making Kuwait a role model for healthcare in the region. The wonders of Kuwait are many and have to be seen to be believed. Come and experience them. The country and its people will welcome you with warm smiles and open arms. Come and see Kuwait through your eyes.